Hello. Nomad Sculpt, the plane. Mm, I call this um, videos um, cat series. Um, this is the first one of it. Um, okay, I switch to the Nomad app and I clear this object. And we use the, the plane. I rotate it in the top view. We add a plane and now, um, okay, um, I lock the view in the top view and you can adjust the plane in any size uh, you want. Um, and you can um, change the topology. Um, I show you an example uh, how the division, um, you have to test it out. Okay, um, when we validate this object with this division and we use the trim function and um, in the trim settings make sure that's very important that the hole filling is off. Hole filling is off. And then there are uh, two other settings um, for the square. Um, shape rectangular, a square. Um, you can turn it on or you can use the centered function. And um, circle is the same, um, circle or ellipse and centered, um, you can um, switch it on or off um, if you uh, need it. Um, okay, um, we can also um, show the gizmo and bring the object, uh, move it to the origin and um, we can show the planes. Also the planes you can reset um, and uh, center it and we can use it um, for the symmetry if we need it. Okay, we use the trim function and turn the symmetry off and use um, for example uh, the ellipse or the circle tool and um, now you can um, trim a circle off and we have a, a fine crisp um, cut of the circle and when you show the, the symmetry planes you see the center of the object that's uh, helpful and in the next version of Nomad um, uh, Stefan um, makes it a little bit clearer to, um, to see um, the now when you um, when you look, when your view is aligned with uh, the top view, you can see uh, the blue and the red plane in the next version, it's better. And you can lock the view always and you can use the trim function again and uh, scale the circle outside um, to cut off the edges and you can, uh, on the left side there's a flip button uh, and you can flip it and there you can trim uh, such objects. Um, okay, I go back and that's um, the position of the validation of the object and it makes no... Uh, for the division. Uh, we can make it lower and validate it and use the trim function again Symmetry off, ellipse, and flip it, flip it again, and the circle um, is also uh, clear. Um, the lower the resolution of the object is, um, yes. Okay. The next thing is um, we can use all the uh, functions uh, rectangular trim. Um, we can cut this off 
and then it's better when you have more um, par, um, divisions. Um, you see the uh, this is not a clear um, cut. We can go back and um, make it a little bit higher and validate it and turn off the symmetry, turn cut off a rectangular. Now it's better. Um, and then you can um, create um, um, your um, objects. Um, I show um, showing uh, the symmetry function. Um, you can use um, now the X plane is activated, and when you use the symmetry on the left side top lock the view and use the rectangular tool um, now it's uh, cut off um, or it's trimmed uh, on the symmetry axis and you also can adjust the symmetry the, um, when you go to the gizmo edit and um, use the trim uh, in the trim function you can bring the symmetry axis here and trim it uh, oh sorry trim function is on rectangle is on and makes the gizmo edit off and then you can uh, mirror it here in this position um, we can use a, again the, the trim function turn the symmetry off um, and trim an object like this. This is, you can do very crazy things with this object. I turn the, the lock function on the rotation cube off and I use the selection mask, mask this object and in the mask um, you can adjust the shell thickness. I'm using here 10. Um, and extract the object. Um, now you have uh, this. And you can always lock, lock always your um, uh, views to make um, clear cuts and um, check the symmetry always. And for exact trims, um, now you see the, the line uh, snaps in, a, in an angel. Um, sorry, this was the mask tool. We use the trim function. Oops, I use the line. And now whole filling is off. In, in this view, or in, uh, now it's a 3D object, uh, we can turn on the um, um, hole filling and in the hole filling make sure that smoothing and threshold and details turn it to um, bring it to zero. You can test it what happens. <coughs> Lock the view and use the trim function and uh, now you now you have um, a clear relatively clear um, surface um, it's uh, nomad sculpt is not a, a ca cad program um, but it it works um, and for the trimming um, you can for example um, when you trim like this it's in in the angel of the the trim is in the angel of the uh, view you got on the screen at the moment and when you use uh, when you want to uh, trim in a in an exact angel um, you can use um, the gizmo rotate the object uh, um, now it's set to 45 degrees and when you use the trim function and the rectangular function, um, now it's it cuts in exact 45 degrees. 
and when you use the gizmo um, you can rotate it back and um, do another trim and it's important um, to know the object is now um, scaled upwards and uh, there are only lines when I go in the front view lock the fr fr front view sorry and I go to the trim tool and I use a ellipse and I want to um, trim the ellipse out here nothing happens um, because there are only lines and no points to do this when you want to uh, cut off here um, or trim uh, a hole out um, then you can do it like this um, you see in the mirror you can use uh, the local function and you see the green plane is now useful I go to the front view, turn the symmetry on and I split the object and in the splitting function make sure hole filling is off. You can split it one time, two times, three times, four times, five, six, seven, eight times and um, now I select all the, the parts and simple merge them. Now the, the, the object is again complete and when you now use the trim function turn the symmetry off and um, cut off um, sorry now we can turn on the hole filling everything is on zero and now we can trim this object out. Um, sometimes it's uh, not perfect, but it works. You, um, perhaps uh, you have to test with the uh, hole filling options and um, and so on and so on. Okay, that's the first part uh, with the plane.